Yeah, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. I'm back with another video. This video is a little different. Today we're going to be talking about rep methods for slashing shot creators, uh, shot creating slashers, as well as pure shot creators or playmaking shot creators or anything with really shot creating in it that's not a three point shooting build. Now, the first thing you want to do is make sure you are 90 overall. If you are not 90 overall, go grind. If you can't grind because you're looking at this video and you need a rep method, hopefully this helps you at the point guard position. If you are not a point guard, you're going to have to go ahead and grind those post spins, work that baseline, and when you get the 90 overall, come in and make changes like I'm doing right now. If you have any point guards on your team or players with better playmaking than you that can sometimes play point guard and you are a shooting guard or a small forward or a power forward or a center take them out the game put the best of the best on injured reserve go ahead and put yourself at the point guard position make sure you flex those minutes for some of the better passers and people you want in the game the most so let's go ahead and hop into this video because i'm telling you guys right now this is the best rep method after patch eight and i'm gonna tell you why and i'm gonna tell you what 2k tried to do to us let's get it all right guys so first thing that you guys need to know is that rep methods are not dead for our builds we can get off for about i would say 50 to 60 k my points per game on 12 minute quarters on hall of fame and subbing out at the third quarter so you do not have to play the whole game now first thing that you want to start off by doing is drive that baseline it doesn't matter if it's a great defending big or a lackluster defending big what you want to do is you want to call a quick one elevator rip get up in that post make sure you got your back to the baseline drive that baseline and wait for that defender to show his face and it is a posterizer every time now the reason why i am so hype about posterizers is because that is how these builds eat if you do have posterizer whether it's on bronze silver gold hall of fame it doesn't matter posterizer is beautiful even if the double team comes which is a big thing that patch eight tried to roll out they tried to stop us ladies and gentlemen they tried to tell us hey hold up that person's trying to go to the post he's trying to do that drop step he's trying to do that post spin well guess what you can't stop us because this red method still works now as far as alley-oops go you guys will see a few plays where i do call quick one elevator rip and i still go for the alley-oop sometimes but i'm gonna tell you right now alley-oops are, aren't worth it they're just not the only time the alley-oops suit you is when you are in takeover if you do have takeover and you're looking to get team takeover you do not and i repeat do not want to go to the post spin you do not want to go to the drop step you do not want to catch the ball and try to dunk it on your own you want it to all be on the cpu and the reason for that is when the cpu throws the ball to you whether you catch it or not it's on that player whether a turnover happens after the ball touches your hands it is no longer on you it is on the cpu so you won't have to worry about your takeover getting got now you guys notice right there man the postman came the double team came and i still survived it didn't get bumped for whatever reason the post spin animation will not give you a bump animation now i'm slowing this clip down because this is the best way for you to know that your alley-oop is going to get off what you do is call your quick one elevator rip from behind half court especially when you reach that time when they're going to double team you as soon as you get past half court and call it with lust i'm telling you guys this because whenever i get in the game i always say to myself 34 points to 36 points is when the double team is going to come let me drag this player behind kevin durant and i'm going to the rack now that right there is a posterizer you do not want to go for highlight slam dunks no 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 you want everything everything you possibly can do can get to be a posterizer because posterizer gives you the most points and i will show you guys that after this game the reason why this video is so straightforward is because it works now when the double team comes and you got team takeover you get your assist up now i know it's not much for some of us i know assists really don't matter for some of us but hey you can still get off if you run the break if you got team takeover of course you know what r1 l1 does it's the most cheesiest play at the wreck in pro-am at the park for those fast breaks so you go ahead and get used to that 
and run that ball. Now you see him going back door once again, catching that and trying to get another posterizer animation, man. It's all about posterizers now. They 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 patched us on alley oops. They patched us on post spins. They patched us on drop steps. They patched us on moving shots. They patched us on just about everything. All we have left is posterizers, guys. So if you are a shot creating slasher, a slashing shot creator, a shot creating slash, whatever you are, it doesn't even matter if you, you could be a playmaking shot creator for all I care. Posterizers count for a lot. You know how many moving shots you have to hit consecutively to get just the amount of points you would get from maybe 15 posters? You would have to hit all of the moving shots, which in fact the moving shots count. If you miss a moving shot, your points are going down. It's not a times 10 times 20 times 30 thing. It's a 10 out of 20 thing. It's a 20 out of 30 thing. And that pisses me off because we needed these rep methods to help us. Now check this out. I got nine alley-oop finishes. I only got 3,200 points. I got more than that almost from fast break scores, blocks and assists together. Come on 2K. Now check this out. I got 38 highlight plays, only 2,300 points. I got more than that from dodging picks. But check out those posterizers, man. 10,000 points for 10 posterizer dunks. Not only that, look at the strong finishes. I get more in strong finishes than I get for alley oops. This game is insane. But with that being said, guys, this is the rep method you need. It's guaranteed 100K my points every hour if you do it the right way by going for the posterizers. I hope that I can help and I hope you guys enjoyed. Hey, what's going on everybody? If you made it to this part of the video, I wanna say congratulations. Uh, just let me know who made it here. Go ahead and put bruh inside the chat right now. I'll tell you why I asked you to do that a little bit later. So uh, basically, I have been trying to figure out what I wanna do on my channel as far as this whole Teespring integration thing. Now, I've had t-shirts up on there that I've probably made years ago, and those t-shirts really don't coincide with the way of the landscape of 2K and everything like that. So what I've decided to do was uh, make it my brand uh, page to upload all different kinds of designs that I like, that I would love to wear, and hopefully that you guys would like to wear as well. Now, I remember telling you guys to put bruh inside the chat. I'm gonna give you one last chance to do that. I'll tell you why in a second. So another thing that I'm gonna be doing is uh, soon I will be trying to branch off into more reviews of gaming tech things that we all like to uh, wear, such as like, you know, headsets, you know, controllers, like all different kinds of things, right? As well as trying to give you guys my experience on recording quality, uh, you know, what type of cameras I use, my capture cards, I use all different kinds of stuff, my entire setup, the whole nine. Now, I know that there are a couple people that come to my channel to figure out what they need to start off their channel. And where my channel currently is, the budget of things that I have is currently too high for those people. But what I will be creating is actually budget builds that people can stomach when they're coming out and starting out. So um, what I want you guys to do is go inside the description, go ahead to check out my kit.com or check out my Amazon shop. I will have a lot of budget builds in there as well as my build for those people that are willing to spend that top notch dollar to have that top notch quality starting out right now. Now, uh, I remember telling you guys to put bruh inside the chat. And the reason why I told you guys to do that, with the new clothing line that I'm gonna be launching on Teespring, I'm gonna be giving away 100 shirts. Yes, I said it. 100 shirts now this is gonna have to land on me um this is not landing on teespring this will be no promotion with them whatsoever this is gonna be me spending money out of my own pocket and actually shipping things to you so when you see like you know from ikc and then like you know my p.o box and all that stuff like that these items will be shipped from me to you so when i said put brand inside the chat I meant it. So I will be picking 100 people from the comments, literally messaging you here on YouTube. I'll actually give you guys a link inside the description on how to check your messages because when you get a notification, like if I, if I love your comment 
or if I like your comment or if I reply to your comment, this should be the same type of notification from YouTube that I sent you a message. All right, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that it helps a lot of people with the whole rep method and everything like that. I'm going through a lot of the same things with grinding and you know creating new characters, trying to figure out what 2K is gonna patch next and everything like that. And also, one thing I ask of all of you, for anybody that is watching this video, what helps my channel grow is you guys. I don't try too much and to, you know, going into the whole donation thing and supporter thing and members and all of this crazy, you know, all the ways to make monetary things on the channel. What I would like for you guys to have is a dope experience. And if you guys want to spend money and everything like that, it's totally up to you. The only thing that I ask of you guys is to make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and turn on noties. That's the only thing I ask of you guys. And I'll be a happy man. But uh, I'm going to holler at you guys in the next video. Don't forget, comment bruh if you're watching this. I'm going to holler at you guys later. Peace. Yeah. You can't watch this whole video without subscribing.